In some competitions, he's not allowed to bring that leg on the outside like this because it's knee reaping. I'm not allowed to do the same thing either. I can't bring his leg across if he's attacking this one. So, we'll be very careful with that happening. So I'm pushing that down and getting that free. Now I'm going to rotate. If that leg's there now, there's no stress at all. I'm going to rotate away. I'm going to point my toes so it doesn't have a handle. I'm going to make sure that I'm sitting on his, uh, his hip here and pinning his knees together. So I'm not going to hang out here too long. It's just a matter of rotating around and limping out. I'm going to work on getting my underhook, obviously not just staying here, as I rotate around. And I'm pulling that leg out. If he turns towards me, I'm just switching my base. So he can't get the half guard. If he was to roll away, that's when I can work on attacking his back. Maybe goes to turtle, but I'm going to work on pulling him backwards so I can get my pass. So first things first, I'm going to rotate to the side and stand up. I'm going to work on tripoding up. Make sure you don't give your partner your back. Stretch that leg out. Now from here, I'm just pushing this leg down, both hands if I can. As I rotate, I can push that leg to the ground. And rotate to here because I've got my knee line out. Nice and tight. Now just commit to turning. Try work on getting that underhook. Okay, so depending on what they do, I've got my pass straight away. When he rolls, I've got a handle to hold onto the tricep. Okay, I can work on pulling him back. Or if he's a little bit too far, I can work on taking the back, depending on what they give you. 